Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the second half of the regular season here in the NNSCRA Season 5 Oreo Truck Series. This is the point now, guys, just coming off what was a great race weekend at MM Super Speedway during the All-Star Race Weekend, to the point when the drivers now turn their attention towards the biggest part of the season, and that is, of course, the chase for the Oreo Truck Series Championship. They've got a total of 13 races to get themselves the right position to be able to get into the chase for the championship. And we're going to start it off here tonight at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Getting ready for the running of the North Carolina Education Lottery 200 with Felix Harris on the pole. Felix Harris just recently, I believe it was last uh, our last points paying event at Supercell, lost the rookie points lead to Danica Shirley. He's going to be trying tonight to recover and get it back as he'll look to pick up his first victory of the season. He's going to start on the pole alongside of him. A rookie who's trying to, I guess, now look to maybe get into a wild card position at this point. He's already got a victory this season at Bristol. That is rookie Rod Houston starting on the outside of the front row. Jake Rogers, who did not have a whole lot of luck in the Oreo Truck Series All-Star Race, as he and Seth Cole got together and brought out the first caution. He's a former Oreo Truck Series champ from Season 1. He's looking to get his season turned around now and try and contend to be a two-time Oreo Truck Series champ. We'll see what he can do tonight. Alongside of him in the fourth position, that is Derek Reed. Now, Derek Reed came in the Snickers Cup Series, replacing his brother Trifon Reed. Ended up walking away with a victory back, I believe it was at Kansas. It may have been at a track a little bit later. Memory is failing me as to whether it was or not. But tonight, he comes in. He filled in about the same exact time. He moved into the 13th Snickers Cup here into the 6th in the Oreo truck. We'll see if maybe he can work a little bit of replacement magic here in this series. So he'll roll off for position number 4. And his teammate's going to line up in 5th. Steven Pollard, the 3rd. 4th in rookie points, 12th in overall points, been doing a great job, been having a great season, but still looking for that first career win. Going to get these cars rolling off to complete a couple pace laps. we got a 20-lap event that's going to be coming up here for our enjoyment. Going to be interested to see how they'll do here, entering now into the second half of the regular season. How hard will they race? How smart will they race? We'll find all those answers to those questions out in just mere moments as here is your starting lineup for tonight's race here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Drivers are going to do working their way up through the field. From what I can see, no driver that comes in in the top seven in the standings is starting inside of the top 15. So these drivers that come in first through seventh in points, they're going to have to work hard to get up here to the front just in case anything might break out. Felix Harris is eighth in points and he's on the pole. As here we go, an all-rookie front row gets us under the green flag here at Charlotte. There it is, green flag is out. Felix Harris going to try and take the early advantage. The inside line is going to be the line that will move here today. Oh, Tony Blazer gets moved into the middle, three wide. Oh, Stephen Poole in the third slides up into a close call, and there's smoke. Smoke in the back, there's a caution. First caution of the day. Oh, man, Amelia never Jake Rogers, they both got turned down towards the inside retaining wall. Did they save it, though? Can't see him. They may have saved it. Oh, man, Dylan Young into somebody back there. They're bouncing off each other. They're going to come down here to the caution. Outside line prevails by a splitter. It's Felix Harris leading at the line. Good 
grief. That was a chaotic first lap. Smoke in turn one. Kyle Sosnowski's got damage. There's Navarrete. Margaret Mason, Richard Johnson. Oh, look at the cars on pit road here. Two of them are inside the top ten. There's McLeod. Matthew Rodriguez just retired. He comes in third in points. There's the uh, Nick Eggleston machine, the 98. He comes into this race fourth in points. He's involved. Jake Rogers, Charles Jackson, they're in it. Alex Tanker, ninth in points, is involved. There's our winner from last week at Supercell, Chris Dollerton. He's got bad damage to the 83. Maggie Vedarvu has got damage. There's Adam Chambers. He comes in this race seventh in points. Dylan Young's got damage. Anthony McCurry may be involved. Who else in this may have gotten pieces of it? Barney Ward's got some rear end damage to the back of his car. There's the points leader, Sean Henley. It looks like he may have gotten through all that. It's up to 16th places, Henley. Caution is out for the first time today, and there were a lot of drivers involved in this one. Felix Harris is the current leader under the caution flag. Well, here's a look at what the caution initially came out for. Watch right here. Alex Tanker's going to go on the inside of Kyle Sosnowski, looking three wide. And I guess he just can't get his car down there. He carried too much momentum into the corner. Goes up into the left rear of the seven. Bounces down into points leader Sean Henley. Nice job by Henley to hang on to it there. McCrory's going to go down. He's going to clip John Cittadino. That's going to turn the 27 around. Cittadino goes up and hits the outside retaining wall really hard. Watch Chris Dollerton. There's nowhere he can go. He's going to run into McCurry right there. And there you see Christopher Martin back there. Maggie Vedarvu, Chambers, Margaret Mason. And now let's see what happens further up here. Someone did go down and get the wall. Oh, and it was uh, Richard Johnson, Emilio Navarrete. And there you see Jake Rogers around. I have a feeling they're all going to converge up here into turn number three. Let's rewind it just a minute here. Yeah, watch the watch the red and yellow car of Jake Rogers. And then about three cars back, the green car of Emilio Navarrete. See where that contact begins. Oh, Trent Dunham and Richard Johnson in the middle of the pack there made contact. And it sent the eight down across the nose of the five of Emilio Navarrete. And Stephen Pollard the third is the one that got into Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers keeps getting turned down on the inside retaining wall. It was by Seth Calder in the All-Star race, and now by Stephen Pollard the third. But it was teammates who got together there, Trent Dunham and Richard Johnson. That's what triggered Johnson shooting down in front of Emilio Navarrete's number five. And then I guess everybody settled it out from there. But something else is going to happen somewhere around here with Dylan Young. See if we can find out what it is. Oh, man. Look at look at Barney Ward shoving the back bumper of the Car City. Oh, uh, the Car City Silverado of Ravajara Jr. And I think that's where it's going to happen. Right there is the contact. Barney Ward down into Dylan Young. Dylan Young's trying to hang on to it, trying to hang on to it. Finally, I think the car is going to snap around on him at some point here. Right, oh, 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 whoa, Ryan Acosta tries going underneath with Colin Welty, and there you go, right there, right there, Dylan Young couldn't hold it any longer, slides up, Barney Ward's going to get some contact with it, there goes Ryan Acosta around, right in front of Seth Cole, he's boxed in, and look at Henley, man, that was a close miss right there by the 43, the points leader, what a phenomenal job he did right there to avoid that wreck. And Barney Ward was able to right his car, drive away from it. But Ryan Acosta, Dylan Young, they're left there. Just entering the dogleg off of turn four. And the caution flies for, I'd say, a good four incidents that took place. There's Sean Galligan and Dom Caps, Nicole Williams, Carter Keselowski. They must have been very, very nervous trying to get their way through on the front straightaway. But the caution is out for the first time tonight. About four different incidents taking place. A wreck out of turn, well, a wreck in turn number one and out of turn number two. Two spins on the back straightaway, as well as this incident out of turn number four. Let's go back to green flag racing. We've been given the signal of one lap to go before we put them back under the green. I also failed to mention uh, how Matthew Rodriguez got caught up in all this. Uh, when Emilio Navarro and Richard Johnson spun out, Navarro brought his car back up the racetrack and then just got completely reared into by the 14 of Matthew Rodriguez. So that's how Matthew had so much damage to his car. I believe he has retired. Let's actually take a look at the retirees so far from this race. Richard Johnson's gone behind the wall along with Alex Tanker, James McLeod, Emilio Navarrete, 
Kyle Sosnowski, Jake Rogers, Matthew Rodriguez, and Nick Eggleston will retire in 39th and 40th. Drivers who came in 3rd and 4th in points. This is going to hurt them a lot. Also out of the race are the cars of Margaret Mason. And Charles Jackson has also gone back behind the wall. We didn't get to see much of that patriotic number 29 Silverado. But his day is also done. Don't know whose incident he got caught up in. He may have actually gotten a piece of uh, Matthew Rodriguez and Emilio Navarrete. That incident there in turn 3. Well, actually, it looks like Richard Johnson, James McLeod, and Alex Tanker, they're only a lap down, so they have not retired. So uh, that's good to see that they're going to be able to at least continue. Let's give you your top tens. We'll get ready to go back to green. Cars filing into turn number three and four right now. Field Terrace is the leader. Rod Houston second. Tony Blaze in third. Fourth is Derek Reed, and Trent Dunham runs in fifth. Jacob Cook is sixth. Seventh, Eric Burton. Eighth place is Luke Walker. Dylan Poteet is in ninth. And tenth place is Stephen Pollard the third. Sean Henley, the points leader, where is he going to restart? In the 16th position, that's where the 43 is currently running. Back up to the front as the green flags back out. Felix Harris making quick work of the lap traffic. As a matter of fact, the entire top five did. They were all past them as they head in to turn number one. Comes around Houston, looking down to the bottom. He wants the lead. Tony Blazer almost turns him off turn two, but they hold on to it. Now they're going to go underneath Felix Harris. Rod Houston to the lead. Felix Harris, the pole sitter, going to get freight train now. Oh, Blazer nearly gets turned by Derek Reed. They save it again. Wow. Nice job there by the 76. The 6 and Trent Dunham in the 1 as the caution's out again. Caution waves for the second time tonight. That didn't take long. And it's Bob Jones. Bob Jones in the 11 and Carter Keselowski. Some rookies getting together. Oh, there's a spin up ahead here. Oh, oh they're all backed up here. Oh man, Dom Caps, Barney Ward, Hayden Klein, Megan Bidarbu, Galligan, Chambers. Citadino's got damaged. There were some other cars further up there. Dylan Young being one of them. Steven Pollard, the third. Richard Johnson. Oh my goodness. Complete chaos taking place here. Caution out for the second time tonight. And Rod Houston is the leader over Blazer, Reed, Harris, and Dunham. So we'll take a look at a replay. Let's see how this wreck happens. Oh my gosh, they just all started squeezing into each other. Keselowski and the Bob Jones and the Galligan and the Dom Caps and the Hayden Klein. And around they go. Bob Jones going to make some more contact. He hits Ryan Acosta, comes down into Christopher Martin. And Keselowski just gets held up behind this. And I have a feeling the way that all these guys were all bunched up trying to get by the spinning Bob Jones machine, that could play a big part into why they wrecked under caution down in turn number one. And Bob Jones, his car comes down to rest. You can see that the, the wheels are kind of caught on that white line there between the banking of the racetrack and the apron. His car may have not been able to refire. I think they had to get the uh, they had to get the truck out there with the hook out there to get him off the racetrack at least down to pit road. Tough break for Bob Jones and take a look here. See if we can find out. I almost I almost wonder if this whole incident that happened up ahead who would it have started with? Oh, there it was right there. Stephen Pollard the third and Colin Welty. They're squeezing with each other along with the eight of the lap car of Richard Johnson. They just finally squeeze each other together. And around goes the Budweiser Chevrolet. He's going to spin it. And Pollard, he's trying, trying to get by. Shoots to the outside. Gets clipped there by the eight. Pollard just doing all he could to get by the spinning Richard Johnson machine. And then so these cars are going to settle down. Towards the inside of the track. There you see Nicole Williams. Dom Caps. They're going to get hit. Danica Shirley's held up behind this. There's Alex Tanker up ahead. He gets run into by the Aflac Ford. And everybody just starts piling in here. And there's just nowhere for anybody to go. They're just all trying to woe up. And it's a parking lot. A parking traffic jam down here in turn number two. After Richard Johnson got spun out there, that was actually after the caution had waved. They had just barely crossed the star finish line when that incident took place. But the caution waves. We're under the caution one more time. Let's go back to green flag racing. Past the halfway point now. We'll go back to green flag racing with 10 laps to go on lap 11. See if anybody's gone back behind the wall as a result of this incident. 
Gotta wait till the lap... Well, I don't think the lap cars will be coming up here. So, let's see. I believe... Where's the 88 of Barney Ward? He may have actually gone back behind the wall. I think he did. I think the first car behind the wall may be the Barney Ward machine. He's... Well... We gotta find confirmation, because I don't really think he had that much damage, but maybe he did. Yeah, Barney Ward's gone back behind the wall. So Barney Ward is the only driver who retired after that incident. Alex Tanker, Bob Jones, Sean Galligan, and Dom Caps, they are all one lap down to the leader. Card Keselowski, Richard Johnson, they've also gone back behind the wall, along with Maggie Vedaravu. So here's the way they're going to run. Rod Houston's the leader. Tony Blazer second. Derek Reed third. Fourth place Felix Harris and Trent Dunham fifth. Then it's Jacob Cook, Eric Burton, Luke Walker, Dylan Poteet, and Ron Vajara Jr. the top ten. Andrew Gonzalez is 11th. 12th Sky Commons. 13th James McLeod. 14th is Sean Henley. Now he only came in with a four point advantage over Dylan Poteet in the standings. Poteet I think we said was running in eighth place. So Henley he is right now one point behind Dylan Poteet in the standings. He needs to pick up the pace here in the second half of this race. The rest of the top 15 are Colin Welty and Stephen Pollard the third somehow is still surviving in the top 15. Rod Houston got himself a nice restart there. Toyota Tundras are one and two right now with him and Blazer. Best battle is going on for the fourth position. Trent Dunham down to the bottom of Felix Harris. It looks like he's gonna take that spot. Harris again getting freight trained here He's lost fourth, he's about to lose fifth and sixth to Jacob Cook and Luke Walker is up ahead. Battle for the lead, Derek Reed wants it. He passed Tony Blazer for second, now underneath for the lead off of Rod Houston. Is the caution out? Yes it is, caution is waving again. Houston got Derek Reed at the line, so that means that Rod Houston will still be the leader unless, actually I think we are racing the back to the line here. Yeah, we are. They're still going to let him race back here. And Derek Reed's got the inside advantage. Here they come out of turn number four. Rod Houston going to try and get the outside line going at the line. Inside line is going to prevail. And Derek Reed will be the later under this caution. And the caution came out for the 23 of Nicole Williams. 17th in points. Fifth in rookie standings. Nicole Williams is the reason the caution is waving. And that truck. I think that truck is done for the day. That hood completely mangled up on that number 23 TRD. Can't even tell what, what make that is. I think it's a Toyota Tundra. What a tough break there. I think she may have gotten turned right up in the outside retaining wall in turn four because that's where I saw quite a bit of skin marks. We'll take a look at a replay of our latest caution of the evening involving rookie Nicole Williams. Let's take a look here, see what happened. Blue Deuce of Sean Galligan going to get together there with Anthony McCrory. McCrory comes up. He hits Tanker. And then he then gets clipped by Sean Galligan. And, oh, it sends them right up into the 23. And Galligan almost flips over. Twice he almost flipped over. Two-time winner this season, Sean Galligan. Got a little airborne and nearly flipped the thing over. There's Anthony McCurry involved. And Sean Gallagher nearly took out the commitment cone as well. But my goodness, hard, hard hit there for the Blue Deuce as well for Anthony McCurry. And then Nicole Williams, absolutely nowhere to go. Just rams right into the Miller Lite Dodge. And my goodness, that was a hard hit and a wild ride for Sean Gallagher. I don't even know how he's driven away from that incident because that car nearly went up in the air and tumbled over. We nearly had a barrel roll here at Charlotte. So we're ready to go back under the green flag again. It's going to be a four-lap shootout to tonight, decide tonight's race. I believe the race will be declared over if the caution comes out again at the stripe because I don't think we'll be able to get back to green flag racing within four laps. It's been uh, pretty much an all-caution night for these drivers. We haven't had a nice green flag run and Nicole Williams has taken her car back behind the wall. See if anybody else has. Uh, Galligan may have continued. I don't know when he was involved there. And Anthony McCurry has been able to continue as well, it looks like. Let's see if the Blue Deuce is still out there. Yeah, after that wild ride, Sean Galligan still continues. 
If he and McCurry had both retired after that incident, that would have hurt them in points too, as Galligan comes in 6th in standings, Anthony McCurry 15th in points. So we're going to take a look here at the top 10. We're getting ready for a four-lap shootout to decide tonight's North Carolina Education Lottery 200. Derek Reed out in front, trying to pick up his second win of the season in Season 5, his first career Truck Series victory. Behind him, Rod Houston. He's been up inside of the top three all night long. Tony Blazer is in third. Trent Dunham in fourth. And Jacob Cook runs fifth. Then it's Luke Walker, Felix Harris, Eric Burton, Andrew Gonzalez. And in tenth is Ron Vajara Jr. There's Dylan Poteet. He's 12th. Sean Henley is 14th. That means right now, Sean Henley would still be the points leader heading into next week as the green flag is out. Derek Reed going to take the top spot into turn number one. It's a three-truck breakaway right now. Himself, Ron Houston, and Tony Blazer, then a battle for fourth between Luke Walker and Trent Dunham. Let's see if they can keep it green. Blazer looking to the inside line. Can he get underneath the UPS Ford, or is he going to have to contend with the 15 for second? Looks like he's going to have to battle for second. Look at Derek Reed using the outside line that time to keep the top spot. So he's found a little bit of strategy here, and it seems to be working out. Three laps to go here at Lowe's, and we completed a green flag lap. I think that's the first time we've done that tonight. Oh, they're getting close to each other on this corner. Three wide for the lead. Luke Walker to the inside. Blazer, Reed, three wide for the top spot. They're three by three, two rows deep. Contact, oh, Trent Dunham, he finds Luke Harris. There's a caution. They're going to race to the line. Burton down low. Walker up high. This is for the win. Photo finish. Oh, my. With two laps to go when they came to the stripe, drag race between Eric Burton and Luke Walker, two drivers who weren't even in it to win it about a lap ago. And who got it? Who got the win? I don't know. They're saying it was Eric Burton at the line. It looked dead even to me. 14 one thousandths of a second. That's what they say Eric Burton beat Luke Walker to the line at. But a wreck right up at the front involving Trent Dunham, Felix Harris, and a lot of the other front runners of the night. It's going to bring out the caution flag. White flag is going to be displayed this time. Look at who's moved up here. Walker second. Ron Vajara Jr. third. Poteet fourth. Welty in fifth. And Henley moved his way up to sixth. But there is the pole sitter, Felix Harris who looked like he was going to get a great run tonight, and oh man, a whole bunch of other cars there. Derek Reed, who led us to our final restart. Hayden Klein, his teammates, Seth Cole, McLeod, Cook, Galligan, all involved in this, and I know Trent Dunham also got a piece of it as well. Caution flies for what will be the final time tonight. They're in turn number one. We'll quickly look at a replay, and then come back for the checkers. Eric Burton in a photo finish is going to pick up his first win of the season in the Oreo Truck Series. Unbelievable. Take a look at this. They nearly had the save. Look at this. Three by three. They, all, they went four wide there for a moment. And right here, the contact between Dunham and Blazer. Dunham comes down into Felix Harris. It's going to shoot him up into Jacob Cook, and they couldn't hang on to it any longer. Look at Derek Reed caught up there on the high side there. Nowhere to go. Look at that. Un unbelievable. Blazer into the wall. Rod Houston got held up behind it. Sky Commons, our all-star race winner. He's in it. Hayden Klein nails him. Seth Cole, James McLeod, they're going to plow in. And then here comes the rest of the field. It's just going to be all melee here out of turn number four. Dylan Young somehow gets by. Where's Galligan? Oh, there's Dom Caps. I think he hit Felix Harris. That slid him up into... Both uh, Trent Dunham and Derek Reed. Just look at the black smoke. And Sean Galligan. Who is it he's going to hit? Maybe the 78 right here. And well, now he gets down to the inside quick enough. Oh, Jace McLeod's trying to get his car turned around. And oh, Galligan just clipped McLeod. And that was enough to cause the black smoke to come out of the back. Of the middle of the light dodge. Certainly not been a good night for Galligan. But there's Seth Cole. 16th in points. Jacob Cook. Trifon Reed. There's James McLeod. 
My goodness. And we've got to take a look. We've just got to see how close it was between Eric Burton and Luke Walker. Let's rewind it right here. This was them coming down to the line to finish off this race with the caution waving. Look at Luke Walker. Try to get the side draft to get him at the line. He's trying as hard as he can. And there it was. That was the finish of this race. Even though it wasn't the final lap, it was the lap that was going to hand over the win to one of these two drivers. And Luke Walker, oh, so close. But Eric Bird just came out of nowhere to win this thing. What an incredible job. We're going back now for the checkered flag. Last season, he was a championship contender for the Oreo Truck Series. Today, he came in 13th in points. And he's going to pick up his first win of the season here in the Oreo Truck Series. Eric Burton in an incredible comeback win. He takes the checkers. He wins the North Carolina Education Lottery 200. Who would have thought? I mean, we had what could clearly be described as a wreck fest here today at Charlotte under the lights. But who would have thought that it was going to come down to a photo finish? to decide tonight's event. It basically looked like whoever was going to survive, but it was a photo finish. This race obviously not going to finish with that photo finish, unfortunately, because the race ends under caution. But at the stripe, the official word was that Eric Burton got Luke Walker by 14 one thousandths of a second. That's pretty doggone close. Where did the points leader Sean Henley finish the night? He'll finish a very consistent sixth place. Dylan Pote, you're going to finish two spots ahead of him in the fourth position. So that means that Henley is going to have a two-point advantage, I believe, over Dylan Pote heading into next week's race. Behind them, though, from third on down in the standings, a lot of those drivers had hard luck tonight, so I have no idea what the points jumble is going to be as far as that's concerned. What an unbelievable event here tonight at Charlotte. Eric Burton going to pick up the win here tonight for Richard Childress Racing as he takes the checkers at Charlotte. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight's race. What an incredible finish. If you did enjoy this race, give this video a like. Subscribe to become a part of the crew today. We got Mobile and Snickers Cup Series action coming up, including our longest race of the year, the Coca-Cola 600. It's going to be the longest race we're going to have here in the NSC Ray. Hope you'll tune in for that. You've been watching a production of the NSC Ray Offline Racing that's best. Here comes your official fishing results and overall points as well as rookie points.